So yeah, I've carried her for bloody nine months. I'm using her to my advantage. She is gonna make me more money. With everything that's going on at the moment with the Black Lives Matter movement, I sat back and thought, within my team, I've not seen a single black woman being celebrated. Welcome back to my channel, it's me Charlotte. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe down below. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit more about Valentus. I've got a few posts that I want to have a look at and I've also got another story from an ex-rep that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. Before I get into the video, I've just got a couple of life updates. So first of all, I have recently started studying again. So I am doing a diploma in counselling skills. So I'm currently training to become a counsellor which is very exciting, but it does also mean that I am a lot busier now. So I am aiming to keep up with the once a week upload schedule, but I don't know how well I'll be able to stick to that. I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to stick to that, but I just wanted to let you know that if I don't happen to upload one week, I'll let you know before, but that's probably why, because I'm very busy at the moment and I'm just sort of getting used to juggling everything, but it's very exciting. I said I had a couple of life updates, but I can't remember what else there was, so I guess that's it. <laughs> Let's get straight on into the video then. This first video that I'm gonna have a look at is from one of the top earners in Valentus in the UK, so let's have a listen to what she has to say. Hey, I'm still pregnant, but I'm thinking ahead of the game. I'm thinking, right, <laughs> it sounds awful because I sound like I'm using my child, but I'm thinking, right, how is this baby benefiting my business? And it sounds awful, but I know having this baby it's opened up a brand a huge brand new audience to me like mums and again mums trying to lose their mum tums you know I can relate to them people now so yeah I've carried her for bloody nine months I'm using her to my advantage she is gonna make me more money it's gonna happen so this rep is talking about how she is going to be using her newborn child to help boost her Valentus business. She says in the beginning of this video that it sounds awful. So she is well aware of how what she is saying is coming across. Yet she continues to just say it and post it anyway and normalise the idea of using your child to shill your pyramid scheme products and to recruit people. She's literally promoting preying on new mums and their insecurities and you'd think as a new mum she would appreciate the struggles of becoming a new mum, but instead of wanting to be supportive, she'd rather take advantage of that and try and sell them weight loss products or recruit them to earn money off of them, which is disgusting. Unfortunately, this is what multi-level marketing does to you. You kind of have to throw your morals out of the window because if you use your morals and you actually question what you're doing, you're not gonna be successful. I think a lot of people, at least when you start out, you are very aware that something feels a little off here, something doesn't feel quite right, you know, sliding into people's DMs and offering weight loss products or asking them to join your team when you've literally only just started and you haven't even made a profit yet. If I'm being completely honest, it is a little bit sad, like it comes across as if she doesn't have enough self-respect or self-love to know that you shouldn't need to use your child to promote your business. And I'm not being funny, but imagine being her daughter and then growing up and then seeing this video at some point in your life and I don't know, I wouldn't feel very comfortable if that was my mum saying stuff like that, that I'm gonna use my daughter to boost my business. So I've got a post here that this rep shared talking about being a new mum in this business. Tuesday thoughts. This morning I've woke up even more grateful than I normally do. Recently I've had so many mummies and mums-to-be asking about our work from home opportunity because either they don't want to go back to work after maternity leave because they want to stay at home with their babies and not miss any of those special moments or they need extra income because let's face it babies are expensive, maternity pay isn't great and nursery fees are ridiculous. And actually, I just wanna make a quick point here because maybe there are some MLM reps watching this who are like, well, what's wrong with offering an opportunity to new mums? But the thing is, it's not really an opportunity because 99.6% of people lose money in MLMs. That's the difference. If it was an actual job, say it was a work from home opportunity where you were actually guaranteed pay, great. Great if you could promote that that is gonna fit around a new mum's 
life schedule but it's not it takes advantage of people and it quite clearly here is trying to take advantage of someone in a bit of a vulnerable situation. I would honestly love to help even more mummies earn an extra income from home, even if it's just an extra income to help pay for nappies, wipes, formula for that month. I'm thankful every day that I get to work my online business around my little munch while still earning an incredible income and still having the time freedom to do what we want. It does take graft and doesn't just happen overnight, but I would do this all over again in a heartbeat to be where I am today as a stay-at-home boss mama. Want to be a stay-at-home boss mama too? Get in touch. No, I just want to make it clear. I'm not saying that she's a bad mum. I don't know this woman. I... I don't know, but from what she's posted on the internet, I personally don't agree with her choices, attempting to use her daughter for financial gain. Now this next post was something that I saw a Valentus rep repost on their story. It says, your salary is the bribe they give you to forget your dreams, and they've written facts in capitals just above. I think this post is incredibly delusional. Imagine being so brainwashed that you think that having a guaranteed paycheck or a guaranteed salary is a bad thing. A salary is not a bribe, it is the right thing to do, it is the ethical thing to do, to pay people for the hard work they're doing for you. It's delusional to think that you shouldn't be guaranteed pay. I personally think the imagery in this picture is very intense, very dark, and just quite threatening or a little bit scary. And it's sort of portraying managers in regular jobs as sort of this dark overlord that is conspiring against you. And it's just fear-mongering, honestly, like that's not the case. I'm sure there are some not so great companies to work for, but to just paint anything that isn't multi-level marketing with this very dark and scary brush is fear-mongering. And you can't just write the word facts at the top of this post and that make it true. Can you provide us any proof that people are conspiring against us and using a salary as a bribe to forget your dreams? Now this next little bit is very interesting and I missed it when I first did my research into Valentus. So my original video, I didn't actually see this bit in their policies and procedures, but I think it is incredibly telling and very interesting. So I'm going to read this little bit. So in Valentus's policies and procedures document, it says the following. Most independent representatives earn less money each month in the compensation program than they are paying for their products. Although it is possible, Valentus independent representatives should not expect to make a profit simply by becoming an independent representative, as it is very possible that will not occur. Do you need a bigger red flag to tell you to stay well away from this company? They are literally saying that people lose money joining us. I just think this is absolutely insane. If your own company is telling you you're probably going to lose money by working for us, run the hell away. <laughs> so let's get on into the second part of this video, which is another story from an ex-rep that I would like to share. The woman who shared this story is a black woman and she wanted to share her experience as a black woman in Valentus. I started Valentus last year in June. It was the biggest opportunity going and I needed the extra income to support my family. The girl that approached me was lovely, but she gave me very little support. I did my first seven day posts, but then I lost interest. So in the first seven days they give you lots of inspiration and examples of posts that you can share on social media to attract people to your business. So this rep's experience was that after she posted those first seven days worth of posts then she was basically abandoned by her upline and it's very interesting because you know at that point you've bought your products, they've made their money off of you and they've made their hundred dollar bonus off you. So they're going to move on to the next recruit, aren't they? Fast forward to the start of lockdown, I was approached by the famous upline blank. 
this is the girl that I reacted to in my first two Valentas videos, with a motivational speech basically saying that the time is now to join because there's a big boom that's happening in the company. She sent me all the info, added me back to all of the groups and sent me the seven day post information again. I had a new burst of motivation and excitement and I managed to get to Ruby within two weeks. Now I find it interesting when these Valentas reps say that now is the time to join because they say things like the market is so untouched in this area. So translating that, what they're saying is the market is unsaturated. So they are acknowledging that market saturation is a thing by stating that now is the time to get in because what they're suggesting, and they would be right to suggest this, is that the longer you wait to join, the harder it's going to be to recruit more people. Because if you think about it, if market saturation wasn't a thing, why would now be the time to join? Like any time would be a good time to join. And honestly, I wouldn't even be surprised if many years down the line, if they're still around and operating, they start claiming that market saturation isn't a thing like all of these other multi-level marketing companies do, even though they have basically already admitted it now that market saturation is a thing. Once I hit this rank, everyone was excited for me, but then my upline messaged me and said, right, onto recruitment, watch these videos in the groups. I did that and honestly I felt like I'd started from square one again. People lost interest in what I was selling even though I used the products alongside a healthy diet and exercise and shared my own results which I'm proud of. I then lost interest in selling. This is definitely very common in all MLM companies. You'll probably remember if you watched my last Valentus Horror Story video that the rep in that video had exactly the same experience. She had some excitement to begin with but then after the first couple of months no one wanted to buy any products from her. I had the same thing in Arbonne. I had some excitement in the beginning and then that died out. And honestly, it's quite disappointing when that happens because you think, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I sell these products? Especially when everyone claims that they're doing so well and they're so successful. You think, how come they're successful and I'm not? Why am I struggling to sell these products? But the truth is this is actually very normal and we are well aware that people have to fake it until they make it. And honestly, this is why the focus then starts to drift away from the products and onto recruiting because it is just very difficult to sell the products. And if you want to keep making that money, you're gonna have to recruit because selling the product is not a sustainable way of earning money in multi-level marketing. With everything that's going on at the moment with the Black Lives Matter movement, I sat back and thought, within my team, I've not seen a single black woman being celebrated. This made me sad, so I did some digging by looking at all the people in the groups. From what I saw, it seems like they have a certain type of person and social media profile they want in the company. I looked for three days and I managed to find two black women that were in the same team as me. I messaged one of these women and she said she'd noticed the same thing. When we had the Blackout Tuesday, my upline made one of the black girls explain to everyone what the Black Lives Matter movement was and why everyone should support it. When I saw this, it made me think, why do you need a black woman to explain? Does it sound better coming from a black woman? When I first read this story, that was the thing that jumped out to me. I was like, this is very bizarre. Like, why should you need someone to explain why we should be supporting Black Lives Matter should be pretty self-explanatory. Now, don't get me wrong, we do want to be promoting black voices and getting their voices and stories out there. I mean, hence why I'm sharing this story. But there's a difference between elevating black people's voices and getting them to do the work for you. So really, if someone didn't understand the Black Lives Matter movement, they could have either just looked it up themselves or the upline whose group this was could have very easily have explained it. They didn't need to get a black person to do the work for them. Because of what I was seeing, I started thinking I need to be like the girls they want. I even considered getting my lips done just so I could be seen as girly and wealthy. I'm very pleased this rep realised that she did not need to get lip fillers just to fit in at her job. And honestly, if anything or anyone is making you feel like you need to get cosmetic procedures done that you didn't previously want, please take a step back and question whether this is actually what you want or if this is what someone else 
else wants for you and do not feel pressure to change the way you look if it's not for what you want. I've got so many thoughts that I can't get them all out at once but I hope you can shed some light in your video about this because I feel so strongly about it. I have now lost my rank in the business, I lost about $12,000 and not one of my uplines has asked me why. I'm making the decision to leave this company not only because of your videos but with the lack of support you get for being a black woman. They might say they care but honestly they don't. Exactly, your actions need to line up with your words. If you say that you support black people, you need to support black people. Saying it isn't enough, just simply not being racist isn't enough anymore. We need to be actively anti-racist and from the sounds of this person's story and her experience in Valentus they really do need to step up their game. Anyway that's where I'm going to be leaving it for today. Thank you so much for this rep for being so brave and allowing me to share your story and I'm really pleased that I can sort of be this space that people feel comfortable sharing their stories with me and just comfortable talking to each other. So please continue to reach out to me, continue to reach out to other people in this community and let's keep getting the word out there about these companies. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you got all the way to the end, don't forget to leave a big thumbs up. Also let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below. I hope you're all keeping well and I'll see you in my next video.